All right, Pinto. Good girl. Howdy, I'm Jason, and that's my hot dog, Pinto. It's a thousand degrees here in Southern California this week, but I wanted to catch you up on things going on in the auto edit garage, or should I say the auto edit easy up here on the side yard. Now, if you've been following me on social media, you'll know that the 5.7 Hemi in this truck was hurt, and last week I swapped it out for a Jasper engines and transmissions replacement engine, and this thing is almost ready to fire. Now, I wanted to catch you up on a few things, then I'm buttoning up on the front end before I head out of town on a dirt everyday shoot. So come on in, let me talk about this and show you what we got going on here. And today's special feature is gonna be Pinto, if she can actually get up, because we're all melting out here, because it is, like I said, a thousand degrees. She's gonna, I'm gonna run her through some of her tricks, and I'll show you what a good garage dog she is. Right, Pinto? She's afraid of the flies. So if you've seen my channel at all, for any length of time now, you know that I have a bit of an OCD that I like to leave things better than when I found them for most, for the most part, and this is no exception. I just did an engine swap on this truck, and then before I put it all back together, I decided to ask, I had this front bumper off. I thought, might as well just knock the big chunks of rust off of it. Slather some black paint on it and before I put it back on. And I went ahead and did the same thing. I told, pulled all the bezels off these lights. These are pretty bitchin' old uh, light force lights here. So that's what I'm doing now. This is the last bit of stuff to make this truck a truck look like a truck again because as I did the engine swap, I went ahead and pulled the entire front of this thing out, off, to make the access easier. So now this bumper I think was built by Randy Ellis Designs back when this truck was originally built by Fred Williams and Frank Aliato. Um, and it's a really handsome piece. It really is a signature part of the front of this truck. And these lights are just awesome looking. Now I've been pulled over a few times because there's no covers on these, but they're pretty rad. Um, I went ahead and just pulled the bezels off, painted those up, knocked the big chunks of rust off the bumper, put it, put some black paint on that before I put it back on. And next up we'll put the, there's a kind of a um, plastic skid plate that goes right here. We'll get that thing on, get the, get the wiring finished, get up underneath there. But for now, we'll just give this a quick preliminary aim. I just can't leave things alone, you know? If I'm gonna have it apart, I might as well make it look good or at least a little bit better if I have the time. So there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie those wires just to make that an even cleaner, nicer install up behind there. I'll give you a look at that before I put the skid plate on. All right, for now, to aid in the install of the skid plate or the bumper plate here, I'm just gonna put a little shelf there. We'll grab our skid plate, we could just rest it right there. And then, so then we'll just grab our screws, start tightening these things, or getting these in place. This is really a signature piece on this truck. And uh, it's nice to have it kind of freshened up. It was really looking, I didn't even realize how bad. It's been bent and hit a bunch of times, but I mean, that's what it's for, is to do its job, is to just get hammered and protect the front of the truck, and it's done that. So now it's nice to just have a fresh coat of paint. I just knocked the big chunk to rust off. I didn't really sand it all the way down, so it's not perfect, but it's at least black again, and the rust is at least uh, covered. Since I haven't cleaned that yet, it's just been sitting out here, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick wipe down on that.
And if you're wondering what I just sprayed on that, just a little bit of WD-40. Look at that, looks brand new. Hey, buddy. I know, it's hot out here. But boy, look at that truck now. So having Pinto around is just nice, you know? She bugs me to play frisbee or kick the soccer ball, and sometimes it's kind of what I needed, uh, need to get just my head out of something that's frustrating me or whatever. And even though she's just a total nutbag, I love that little that stupid thing, and I think that she likes me too because she's always hanging around. I mean, she could be inside right now in the air conditioning, but she's out here with me sweating. So that's Pinto. We'll do some tricks in a minute with her. But first, let me share with you what's going on in here. Look at that thing. And what you're looking at is the new Jasper Engines and Transmissions Replacement 5.7 Hemi. I shot an awesome video on the install and that will be coming up next here on the AutoEdit YouTube channel, so stick around for that. The injured Hemi will be going away for some re-engineering and rebuilding. But for now, let me show you why I'm not driving this thing yet. This used to be all of the nuts, bolts, and parts that went into the thing. The only thing I have left over is this little guy right here, um, which is pretty good for me. Normally I have about 10 or 15 nuts or bolts left when I do a big job like this. Kidding, not really. Anyway, here's the culprit of why we're not starting this thing today. Now I wanted to replace the power steering pump but this forced the issue when I broke this trying to get the fan clutch off and turns out this is a special order part from Mopar that is only purchased, it can only get, be gotten with a power steering pump. So which is fine because I wanted to get one but that just means that I can't start this thing right now because I'm waiting and because there was a 4th of July holiday weekend I'm waiting for this thing to come. All right, so now it's Pinto's time to shine. So we're gonna try to run through a couple of the tricks that we've worked on over the years. Um, not sure how this is gonna go. It's really hot and she's pretty distracted, but we'll give it a go. Okay, Pinto, in front. Come on, in front, right here. Sit, good girl. High five, good job. Lay down, good girl. Roll over, oh, there you go. That's a good dog, I got the pet her. I have to pet her, you can not sometimes. Okay, ready, Pinto, sit. Come on, sit, good. All right, this is a good one right here. It's a car, car oriented one. Do a donut, Pinto, do a donut. Good job. All right, that's my girl, come on. Shop dog, awesome level 10 right there. So I'm gonna go throw the Frisbee for this little freak show right here. Don't forget to stay tuned for the engine install and test drive of this bad boy right here. I'm gonna go run and do a dirt every day shoot, and until next time, enjoy your drive. Come on, Pinto, get your frisbee. Let's go. Good girl.